Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jero Croft and welcome to another Minecraft video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are taking a break from all the massive build projects and you guys know, relax, take it easy and play a few more rounds of build battle. Now it looks like for this first round we gotta build ourselves a windmill which is just great because you guys know I'm, I can easily put together any kind of building. Just don't tell me to build a whale or a donkey. You guys know I struggle with those things. It's never a good idea. So let's just see how things go. Let's also throw in some grass while we're at it. You guys know it makes everything look so much better. I just don't plan on building anything too crazy because at the end of the day we only have five minutes and you guys know I get carried away with these Minecraft projects. So let's just go for simplicity for this round. I think we did pretty good in the last episode, winning two of three rounds. We scored a decent win with the fireball striking down on that building, and we also scored a win with a smaller version of the epic style nether portal, which was just great. By the way, I have some really cool video ideas coming up, so don't miss out. Subscribe and stay tuned. But if you guys have some really cool ideas yourself, feel free to dish them out in the comments below. So pretty much going for a simple design here, nothing crazy. 5x5 five five windmill using some stair blocks for added shapes and details. We'll see how it goes. At the end of the day, we don't really know how good we've done until we see what other players have built. Let's throw in a walkway as well, get a spruce wood door in there. Um, actually, I think I should have added the path first. Yeah, let's do that with some cobblestone, then add in the door, and then we can add some fence to, you know, add some extras, I suppose. Again, nothing too crazy. So just about three minutes left on the clock. I think we're pretty much good for time, so I'm just gonna make this slightly taller. And then of course we can add in some blades. I'll just use some white wool, I suppose, standard design. Just gonna make sure that every single blade is the same size. If not, it's just gonna look extremely, extremely wonky. So that's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with this design so far. I guess we can add in some extras, see how much time we have left. We have about a minute and a half, so I guess I'll just add a top piece. And with that done, I guess, I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I feel like something's missing, though. Let's try adding a button right in the center. Is that is that better? I don't know, guys. I feel like it's okay, but it's just missing something that's gonna give it that extra boost. So let's try adding some oak wood fence on top of the wool, see how that looks. We have about a, less than a minute left. So this this is make it or break it right now. Well, honestly, I don't know what to make of this really. I mean, it is a windmill, so that's a plus, but I'm pretty sure someone's built something better. So let's take a look at what other people have built and let's jump onto the voting stages. Whoa, whoa, no way. That is the best looking windmill I have ever seen in my life. We have definitely lost this round. I mean, did you see the detail on that windmill? The eyes, the red wool, it all came together like mad. This, we don't stand a chance. We just don't stand a chance. <laughs> On a serious side note though, I mean, what was he thinking? You're supposed to build a windmill and he just goes, no, you know what, let's build a crab. Why not? Um, <laughs> anyway, this is okay. I mean, I think it's missing the blades. We're doing pretty good. I think we have a chance of winning now. I'm usually quite strict with the voting, but I'm being generous. I'm gonna go okay and good with practically every single build. Here's mine and you know what? I'm not even gonna talk at this point because I clearly underestimate my builds. Are you, are you serious? Is it really that good? We just done a complete overkill. Legendary. You know, I still think the crab was better. The crab was so much better. No, but seriously, I didn't expect legendary. That's mad. I'm gonna go okay with that. And I think I'll just go okay with this as well. Why not? This one's actually pretty good considering we only had five minutes. This on the other hand, I don't even know what that is. And I'm gonna stop being generous at this point. I mean, let's face it, it was kind of obvious at this stage, so let's jump on to round two. Now, this is where we have a serious problem. We have five minutes to build ourselves an egg. Like, seriously, what? What am I supposed to do? At the end of the day, it is just an egg. There's only so much you can do. I'm going to be using some white stained clay, seeing as that kind of resembles the color of an egg. I'm gonna change the floor, though, to grass, seeing as the egg is the same color as the floor. I wonder what other players are doing, though. Like, what even is that? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. Like, I'm literally running out of ideas. This is just an egg. Look at it. <laughs> okay, seeing as we have more than three minutes on the clock, I need to find a way to make this more interesting. So I've decided to build a giant spoon. Kind of like an egg race, you know, it is Easter after all. Wait, is that even an Easter thing? Is the egg and spoon race an Easter thing? I have no idea. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're gonna build a giant spoon and that's end of. 
Right, so let's finish off the giant handle right here using some stone. I don't even know if, if stone's a good idea, but that actually looks pretty decent. And I have a great idea for the back of the spoon. We can go for a bit of a spiral effect. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but maybe we can touch it up with some cobblestone later on. Right now, I think we have a good idea. I mean, this is, this is great. Look at it. <laughs> It actually doesn't look too bad. I just need to add some extra detail. You know what, guys? I've just come up with a great idea. We have two minutes left on the clock. And how about we crack the egg and fill it up with some egg yolk using some orange wool? I think this is actually going to make the egg look so much better. Look at it. We can have some actually egg yolk, you know, spilling off the side of the spoon. Why not? I just need to kind of figure out what looks best. And that is about good. I mean, we've got one minute left, and I think we can just add in some extra cobblestone to the spoon just to add a bit more curvature and detail. But for now, I think I'm really happy with this design. I think we have a good chance of winning. I don't know. Every time I think I'm going to win, I end up losing. And when I think I'm going to lose, I end up winning and gaining a, like a legendary build overkill. So I don't know, guys. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We have five seconds left on the clock, two, one, and that's about it, guys. We're down to the voting stages, and wow. Yes, definitely not a crab this time. We have a frying pan and an egg. I'm gonna go good on that one. I did not actually think of that one. What is going on here, though? I have no idea what this is. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. What is this? What is this? Is that like a... Oh, I, th oh, I rated it a poop, and I think it was actually... It was actually two dragons hatching from an egg. That was actually a good idea, and this one's okay too, so why not? Guys, check this out. I don't even know what to say. It's actually quite good, but it's also kind of disgusting at the same time. How do they come up with these ideas? It's like, yeah, let me just build an egg and use slime blocks for boogies. I mean, I don't know. How do you come up with these ideas? This one, though, is absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's amazing. This guy, on the other hand, he's, he's gone quite crazy. He really wanted to add effect to his egg. He's got a, a, a row of chickens lined up, flapping their wings. It's mad. Oh no, here we go again. It's another crab. I can't stand this. I can't look. This, what, what makes you think that building a toilet in an egg competition is going gonna, is gonna to win? This is crazy. If that wins, I, I give up. I give up. <laughs> I, I literally, I walk away right now. This is an okay, why not? This is probably an okay as well. I don't know what's going on here though. Like, what are those? Are those like mini creatures? <laughs> what is this? And here's the moment of truth. Jerocraft's mighty egg on a spoon. I don't know what to say, guys. I don't see many people voting. I actually saw quite a few red blocks. This could be a disaster. Was it really that bad? I don't know. I'll let you guys decide in the comments what you think of my bills anyway, but... um. Oh, this guy's even built a chicken. <laughs> this guy's gone the extra mile. Right, guys, I don't even know what to say at this point. This is mad. This is mad. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we actually scored sixth place. So I guess they must have thought my build was a crab. I don't know. This is clearly what made me lose. They must have thought my build was a crab. That, that's fine. I, I accept losing. It's fine. We have a heart to build now. Again, five minutes. And I plan on building a working human heart. At least that's the idea. I mean, I could always just go for a simple heart design, like a cartoon kind of style. But I really want to go the extra mile for this last build. And I'm even going to use some purple stained clay to actually create the veins. I'm not a doctor, but I know what a human heart looks like. At least I've seen it in pictures. What's really taking me forever to put together are all these red stained clay blocks which are going to initially make the shape of the heart and it is kind of a tricky shape to put together so I really really don't know what this is going to turn out to be. I mean right now it looks kind of decent. So I'm quite happy with it so far, but we're going to have to find a way to add some extra detail. I know that the rest of the players are going to go for a kind of cartoon style heart. At least that's what I'm expecting. So we do need to stand out from the crowd and build something a bit more epic. Right guys, we have just about 1 minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. I've spent a lot of time trying to get this shape as perfect as possible. But we're going to have to add some extra detail, so I've just come up with an idea and maybe using some red stained glass and even some lava will make this look a lot better. Again, I don't know if this is going to work, but the lava could kind of represent, I don't know, flowing um, blood, maybe? Do you think this is a good idea? I don't know, we've got one minute left, but it kind of gives it something extra to look at. So I'm just going to go for it, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and hope for the best. 
We, we just need to find out what, what everyone else has put together. Right, so we have 10 seconds left on the clock. And overall, I'm quite happy with the style of the build. I mean, it's kind of unique. It's not your average cartoon style anime art heart. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a great way to explain it. But anyway, you guys know what I mean. This is what I expected. A kind of simple flat surface kind of heart. So hopefully they'll find my build to be a bit more interesting and we'll score some high points. We'll just have to see how it goes. Guys, I feel like I'm being hacked right now. Yep, I can't move. Like seriously, I can't move. The keyboard is not working, guys. I cannot even vote. Okay, look, just promise me you won't laugh, okay? Just don't laugh at me, please, please. Okay, I take back the fact that I was being hacked, okay? My keyboard wasn't properly plugged in. But here's my build, here we go. Let's see how it goes, guys. Hopefully, we might even score another legendary. I do see some yellow blocks. Oh, yes! <laughs> we actually did it twice in a single episode. So there you go, at least my plan worked out. And the human heart actually worked out. I don't know what's going on over here, but apparently we've got a bunch of villagers on top of- Whoa, this looks like a Nike tick. This is the kind of Nike tick you would see on your shoes. Maybe in a, in a, in a fake brand, <laughs> but okay, whatever. This one actually has gone for a kind of style that I kind of went for. Just a bit more different. <laughs> I don't know, it does kind of look like a heart, so I guess I'll vote uh, okay on that one too. And this guy has even stabbed his heart with a giant arrow. Why not? And this build is actually my favorite. I love the choice of colors. He's built a rainbow heart. I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna go good. Sorry, I'm gonna go good with that one. But clearly, we still won this round, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do want some more build battle, let me know in the comments below. This is Jerocraft over and out.